please put your hands together for Mike O'Donnell. Let him hear it. Come on. Uh, so I just I just want to let you guys know before I get started. Um, I'm not going for the rugged Donny Osmond look. <laughs> Or the Tackleberry from Police Academy <laughs> look. Or any kind of Hasselhoff, Knight Rider type situation. Uh, I'm just a guy with curly hair, big teeth, and a talking car. So, my car is kind of like Knight Rider. It's a uh, Toyota Camry. So. Not exactly, there's no turbo boost, but it does talk, which is nice. It's, uh, it's actually just my GPS, so there's no conversations like the show, just uh, directions. But, that, but that's okay, because I don't think I can handle like an actual talking car, because that would be really distracting. And when I'm driving, I need to be focused on my road rage, those clever insults don't yell themselves. And I think like a talking car would probably just try to calm me down. And that's what pot is for, so... Know your own talking car! Oh, man. But I mean, I, I, I just don't understand, like, I mean... I understand, like, the people have the talking cars. I mean, I, I, I like the car, I like um, driving. I just think people are just so distracted when they drive anymore, you know? Like, everyone's either, like, talking on their phones or texting on their phones or drinking whiskey <laughs> on their phones. And that's just distracting. I mean, no one else is big reading, reading while driving. Apparently 15% of Americans admit to reading while driving. And I know this is true, because I read it <laughs> on my way down here. And yeah, whoops, almost killed a guy. But what's worse besides the distraction is how like people decorate their cars. I've had enough of the magnetic ribbon stickers people put on their car. Like the support the troops, magnetic ribbon stickers are fine. Uh, but now it's completely out of control. Like, I saw one the other day that said, uh, support magnetic ribbon stickers, and that's just... It's a weird cause. Or these bullet hole stickers. Have you seen these? These are stickers that look like bullet holes people put on their car so it looks like they, it's been in some kind of fantastic gun battle. Cause that's what impresses fellow motorists. <laughs> and the thing about the bulletproof, sti the bullet hole stickers, is that on the package, cause I bought some, cause, cause I'm classy, classy guy. But on the package for the bullet hole stickers, it says realistic and fun. So definitely get that brand. Cause God forbid you got bullet hole stickers that were. Depressing, <laughs> fake looking. I also, I, I also don't understand uh, political bumper stickers. I don't like political bumper stickers because I don't know the reason, the purpose of the political bumper sticker. I've never been stuck in traffic wondering on who to vote for and just been like, oh, of course. The PT Cruiser in front of me is voting for Obama. And, and he's got bullet hole stickers on his car, so, you know, he cares about the issues. But the worst, the worst by far uh, is, the worst by far is, is the vanity plates, by far. And I hate the vanity plates because you could have got like regular decorations like any other jackass. But no, no. you have to get the government involved to tell everyone what a pompous asshole you are. 
Let me give uh, let me give you vanity plate people a little tip. All right. Nobody gives a shit what your nickname is or your hobby is when you're doing 30 miles an hour in the passing lane. Get the fuck out of the way, Skittles! I'm trying to read here. That's my time on Mike Ronald. Thank you.